Hey everyone, in this video we're going to create a counter in React. So in our previous video we created a class-based component and we defined our state and we defined a counter in our state and we set it to zero and then we set it to some other values but I'm going to set it back to zero in this video. And in our previous video our state had a static value. So whatever you set it to, so if you've set it to zero the state would be displayed as zero. If you set it to 15, the counter was then 15. What we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna create a button within React. And once that button is clicked, it's gonna increment our counter in our state by one. And then our display is gonna be updated to reflect our button that has been clicked. Let me just show you where we were in our last video. So, if I go and save this and I go to my browser just to see what's happening, we can see uh, this counter is 10 is being displayed, right? But that's because we have set the value that's being displayed as the counter minus our second counter that we just created. Now, we don't need a second counter for this video, so we can delete it. And we can also delete that comma. And we can delete the number 15 and we'll replace it with zero because our counter is always going to start with zero. So we're going to delete this line here because we're not going to be taking it away from anything. We want to just display whatever the value of our counter is. Now, we're going to use a UI framework in this video. It's called Material UI. So to go and download this, we need to go back to our browser and we need to go and Google Material UI, and I'll run you through what you need to do to get this up and running. But if you're having issues, we have got a previous video where we downloaded Material UI and we created a button. So this is the Material UI website, uh, materialui.com. So we go and click on this. You can use this uh, command here to install the Material UI framework within your React application. You can also use this link, this CDN link in your file, but I think it's just easier if you just go and run npm install and then you've got everything in the Material UI library in your React application. So after you do that, we want to go and add in a button and the syntax you can find for this within the website. Again, we've also got a video prior to this one which we've used this material UI button. We're just going to grab one of these. Um, we're going to grab this secondary button here with the red background and the black text. So we can see secondary here. So we're going to just grab this and we're going to bring this back to our component. And we're going to add this button just underneath where our counter's value is displayed. So let's just clean this up a little bit so it makes the code a little bit more readable. We can't actually compile it yet because we haven't imported the, the button into this file but if we were to compile this our button would say secondary so we want to change this to add one to counter. So now that we've got this before we can go and compile it we need to go and import and to do this we can do this at the very top of our file. We just say import button and then we need to specify where we want to import our button from. So it's a material UI core and then forward slash button. So if we go and save this now, we can see it compiled successfully. And if we go back to our browser, we can see that we've got this button here, right? But the button doesn't doesn't do anything, right? So it doesn't increase our counter or at least our counter isn't being updated, but the button actually does nothing. So we have to go and change this. So to do this, we need to go and create a function which will do something when the button's clicked. But before we do that, we need to go and add something to the button. So we need to add an onclick listener. So to do this, we can just say onclick. And after we say onclick, we're going to set it equal to the name of the function. Now again, we haven't actually created that function yet, but let's just pretend we have. 
we're going to make up a name. We're going to call it add to counter, right? So that's going to be the name of our function. So to call this function, we have to say this dot and then the name of the function. So the name of the function will be add to counter. So now we need to go and actually create this function called add to counter. So we can create our functions outside of our render method. So this is our render method. So just underneath our constructor, but not inside of it, we can create a function. And to do this, we just say the name of the function. Then we've got our round brackets. This function is not taking in any parameters. It's just going to set the state to the current state plus one. So we can then put in our curly brackets and we're going to go and set the state now. So we'll say this dot set state. And now we can open up our state by using round and curly brackets. And inside this, we can define what we want to set. So we want to set our counter and we want to set our counter equal to the counter plus one. Now, when we're doing this, we can't just say this we can't just say counter and then set it equal to counter plus one. We have to say counter set equal to this dot state dot counter plus one. And if we go and compile this now, it's successful. And if we go back to our browser, we can see that it's zero. So it should be zero because that's what the counter is set at. But if we press this button, it should increase, but it doesn't. So we need to go back to our code and we need to go and bind this method that we've just created. So this function that we've created called add counter, this needs to be bound and this can be done within the constructor. So to do this, we have to say this dot and then the name of our function. So we put that in there and we need to set it equal to this dot, the name of the function again, dot bind and then we'll put this in brackets at the end. So now once that we've bound our function in the constructor, our button should add one to our counter. And I just need to go and add in a closing greater than sign for this. Um, so if we go back to our browser, when I click this, okay, made a little bit of a mistake there that greater than sign is in the wrong place. So I'll just take that out of there and add it down to the next line. So if we go to our browser, we should see that button providing some functionality now. So as you can see, if we press this button, it increases the counter by one. So that's our counter created in React. I hope you learned something from the video. If you liked the video, give it a like. And if you want to see more videos around React, hit that subscribe button. Have a good day.